So hello guys and welcome to Tech Tricks tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to use Coinbase Wallet extension. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get right into it. So first off, what is Coinbase Wallet extension? So Coinbase Wallet extension is going to be extension to create a new wallet for your Coinbase. So basically, you have to go to their wallet, your wallet in the app store or actually in your safari or google chrome browsers since that it will be an extension for your browser and for that reason i'm here in the google chrome of my ios device so getting started for our wallet extension right here so if you're ready to jump into the coinbase wallet browser extension to get started you can either create a new self-custody wallet or import an existing wallet using a 12 word recovery phrase from another wallet provider, provider such like MetaMask or Trust Wallet. If you do, if you have those, you can import them to your Coinbase Wallet account. So in either case, you'll need to install the Coinbase Wallet extension for your Chrome Web Store. So this is mostly applicable for PCs and such. But I'm gonna do it here in my iOS device to show you guys how it works. So first off, you have to create your wallet. If you don't have one or you can actually just import it like I said earlier to your wallet from MetaMask or other wallets such as Trust. And to get started, there's an install wallet extension from the Chrome based web store. Here there's a link that will guide you to and here in step 2 you'll have to choose create new wallet. And here in step 3 surely back up your 12 word security phrase and they recommend storing it in a secure location such that this is an important password and writing it down and storing it somewhere safe is really important to do and this is the only access to your wallet for coinbase cannot recover this phrase for you and so can others not too so step four is verifying that you save this process by doing this recovery phrase before moving on to the next step so the fifth step is creating a password to access your wallet and you must also keep this safe as you'll need it to access your wallet regularly. And remember, Coinbase cannot recover your password for you no matter what you do. And then step six is that they will give you a free web username password. And this is how your co other Coinbase wallet users can find you and send you crypto such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other types of cryptocurrency. If you skip this step, it will automatically generate a username for you as stated here in the website. So they will make a username for you if you don't provide one for yourself in step 6. And in step 7, you're all done and your Coinbase wallet extension has been set up and is ready to use and you are ready to start funding your wallet extension. And it's just as simple as that. To do it, as you can see here, so here there's also steps on how you import from other wallets so you can use it for your wallet extension. So here you have the steps on how to import your phantom wallet. So there's different types of wallets out there such as MetaMask and Trust Wallet. I use those two for my crypto wallets and as you can see here there's also phantom wallet. So you can just you can import your wallet from there to Coinbase if you want to do so. So Here's the steps to do it, so you have to open up your phantom in your browser extension or in your mobile app and then you, you enter your password to access your wallet as usual and you go to navigate to your settings, then the list, click on show secret recovery phrase and then enter your password again if it's prompted in your screens. Then copy down your secret recovery phrase and it should be a 12 word and you must keep this safe at all times. And in step 6, you open up your Coinbase wallet extension and click on I already have a wallet option so that you can import your phantom wallet into your Coinbase wallet. So in step 7, you enter in the secret recovery phrase that you have copied down in step 4. And this should be a 12 words to keep this safe as I said earlier in the video that you must keep this safe at all times since MetaMask or other types of wallets cannot recover this for you at the whatsoever at whatever circumstances. Step 8 you have to select your username and create the password to access your wallet and you must keep this safe as you'll need to access it your wallet regularly. So you also have your Soulflare wallet here. You also have your legend hardware wallet 
and you can also import your metamask wallet as your coinbase wallet extension like i said so uh, here you can see you can open up your metamask in your browser extension or in your mobile app and since i'm using my ios device i already have my mobile app here so i'm going to use that to navigate this so you, you just go to navigate from the list and click on security and privacy option and tap on reveal secret recovery phrase so basically in almost importing every type of wallet to your quite base wallet it's going to be the same steps but just in different types of formats but it's basically the same so you just go to settings security and privacy option reveal secret recovery phrase then enter your password to continue you copy down your 12 secret recovery phrase and this should be 12 words then you open up your coinbase wallet extension and click on the import and the 16 existing wallet option then choose import recovery phrase after that you enter in the secret recovery phrase that you copied down in step 4 and this should be a 12 word and keep this safe at all times like i said then here again you'll have to select your username then create the password to access your wallet and keep this safe as you need to access your wallet regularly so there's also trust wallet right here as you can see there's a different types of falling wallets you can do so to import an existing wallet from a coinbase wallet here's the steps you need to do as stated right here and for other wallets is that it's just going to be the same thing like i said earlier so there's also a guide on how to fund your coinbase wallet since if you don't know even if you're starting to use coinbase as your primary wallet they also have the an extension for that so let me see here just go to coinbase wallet so right here you can fund it by just tapping buy or receive so you can buy your uh crypto using coinbase by by or transfer with transact or transfer with the coinbase app so right here is the options to do it since i don't have coinbase i can't really demonstrate it for you since it doesn't work in my country too well but that's how it basically works so there's also a few options you can try from here if you're falling under these categories you can press these buttons right here like i'm an existing coinbase.com user on the web or you're an existing coinbase user on mobile and if you don't have a coinbase.com account you can press on that so you can set it up right here on their website so if you have some crypto the metamask browser wallet you can also select that right here so if you already have an existing crypto in your coinbase wallet you can also have a guide here it suggests you want to buy crypto from the coinbase or you want to send it they also have a guide here to guide it for you guys so basically that's just how you use the coinbase wallet extension and i remind you guys this is mostly for the computer and this is not really for the phone since it's an extension for your browser in your laptops or desktops or whatsoever so if you like this video, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching this video. See you again next time.